of people wonder where I get the inspiration for my work. Um, all I can say is that all of my work comes from my experience in the world. Uh, growing up, I spent a lot of time in Colorado, uh, especially in the forests of Colorado. And I got to see um, this amazing natural world, which was beautiful to me in so many ways. And then I would go back to the city where I lived in Columbus, and I would see giant, amazing buildings and beautiful things that, that people have created. And I needed some way to put those two worlds together. Um, all of my work is my attempt to sort of put those ideas together in a way that's still beautiful. Behind me is Skyline. Uh, Skyline is my attempt to put those two worlds together. Here you can see uh, the architectural forms uh, of a building. The glass actually looks like the glass skin on the skyscraper. And as you look closer at the glass, you see bark texture inside. Uh, the skin of the tree is the skin of the skyscraper. Behind the glass, you see the tree itself. Uh, there's uh, a little bit about growth, a little bit about decay. Uh, definitely, uh, the whole idea is how the natural world that we depend on cooperates or conflicts with the world that we live in every day, which is buildings and cities and the world that we've created around us. Yeah. All right, um, the whole exhibition, Our House, deals with the overall question of how we live in the environment. Uh, how, much, how much can I consume? How much do I have to give back? How much do I have to conserve? So can I drink the water from the river? I have to. To, I have to drink, I have to eat, I have to have a place to live. But how much is it uh, ethically, how much can I take? And how much do I have to leave for my kids who are coming after me? So um, each piece that's in the exhibition asks that question in a little bit different way. Uh, is it the shape of the piece that looks like a building? Is it the form of skyline that's become a city? Is it the denuded tree that's left inside it? Uh, is it the beautiful memory of a spring stream? Like all of these things um, focus on the one central question of how I exist in the world and what's my relationship to nature and um, how much do I depend this piece is called Fossil of Spring. It's a, a river that I was visiting out in Colorado. I wasn't visiting the river, I was playing out in the forest in Colorado. But while I was there, I videotaped a, a bajillion different things. Uh, this river is one of the branches that feeds into the Colorado River. It actually supplies water to most of the western portion of the United States, or at least a huge chunk of it. Uh, but what's cool about this river is that it's fed by a glacier. Uh, this glacier is quickly disappearing now. It's a year-round stream right now, uh, but 50 years from now, the glacier is probably going to be gone, and instead of being a year-round source of water, it's going to be a seasonal source of water. And that's going to change how, it's going to change the face of how people live out west. So it's a little thing, uh, but it's a little thing that has consequences that are larger and larger as time goes by. Uh, my idea with Fossil of Spring is to capture it while it's still uh, a year-round river. And 50 years from now, when it's not, when there's no water flowing in it, we'll have this record, this memory. Uh, it's not the real thing, uh, but it's not supposed to be the real thing. It's supposed to be a memory of what we used to have. 